Oh my, just waking up the brain here, having combed my hair. Could have the COVID, but I haven't been anywhere, so probably not. Anyway, this morning I've been reading Lewin's Jeans 5 and 12, two books that are 26 years apart. Very interesting to see what they've left out and what they've included in the new books. And, you know, in my ADHD, you'll notice over there, I have my iPad mini underneath my stereo microscope because I wanted to see what the hell the pixels look like. It's quite fascinating. They're actually arranged at different layers and it has kind of a stereo effect. Everyone should try this. But last night, Nephilim invited a whole bunch of people onto one of his... Uh, I don't know what the hell you want to call them. Long cat sessions. Uh, he had mostly his guys showed up. I think there were like six of them. I decided not to. I was a little tired. I was a lot tired. And I think I would have gone there and been... Um, I would have expected that anyone there listened to anything I had to say. The theme of Nephilim's things, I don't know exactly what to call them, is you expect me to believe that. Um, they want to know how we expect them to believe something. Well, what they believe is kind of their business. I don't really have requirements about what they believe. We do get into discussions. Now, I believe things based on what I what I read, what I study. If something seems like, oh, I don't know how that happened, I will look into it at considerable detail and until I can understand how it could have happened. And when I see how one thing connects to another thing and knocks over another thing, then I believe that thing. And that's kind of the story of evolution or my understanding of evolution is looking in detail at all of these things. Now, I don't expect the four or five individuals standing for truth, praise that I am uh, John Maddox, to study these things in the same detail I do. So if they choose not to study the mechanism in sufficient detail to acquire a belief that the mechanism could indeed work, then they have to listen to authorities and I don't expect them to consider me an authority. So if you listen to authorities, well, then you have uh, the dilemma of which authorities you listen to. The authorities that they listen to are Answers in Genesis and the Institute for Creation Research and such, uh, Sanford, Tompkins, uh, Jensen, and a host of others. I mean, the list is, there's about 60 of those devils out there that have degrees of some sort that are working for these institutes and they have a belief, a strong belief in a 6,000 year old earth and creationism. Well, they choose to listen to these people in spite of the fact Tompkins, Jensen, and Sanford have lied to you guys, and they've been showing the lie to you in the past. Now, I don't know why they're lying to you. Maybe it's because we're making over $100,000 a year, we're turning out garbage and not really doing a whole lot of real science, not a lot of hard work. They get paid to, you know, basically make your crazy 6,000-year-old Earth look like a good idea, I guess. So they could be crooks. Um, I kinda, I'll give them 50% could be crooks. 50% they could be deluded in the same fashion you are, that they are not looking into things in sufficient detail to see how one thing bumps into another, how the mechanism works, that they just don't know. Instead, they go to the Bible and that gives them their overall direction, I don't know. So maybe they're as deluded as you are, but uh, Nephilim 
Anyway, I feel bad not showing up for your thing last night because you didn't invite me. Of course, you invited like 20 other people. Uh, I wasn't exactly on top. But, you know, when somebody invites me over, I always feel obligated to to attend if I if I can. Uh, but Nephilim, you gotta you gotta quit listening to these liars. I I appeal to you. Look a little deeper. Now you illustrated on your feed last night a bunch of papers, pictures of papers that I some of which I've seen, some of which I haven't. I will look into them. I don't think you did. I think you just looked at the titles. <laughs> And then there's some sort of a conclusion. But anyway, so this is to, uh, I'm sorry, Nephilim, I, I should have attended. Please invite me again. I will stop by. But if you guys run over me or don't listen to me or, you know, won't let me talk, uh, I'm probably not going to be there very long. So bye, Neph. Later.